Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how to uh, parse the QR code inside your Angular application, how to scan it. So we will be using uh, a very special library which is called as ngx scanner QR code with the help of which you can uh, col uh, scan colorful QR codes as well, very complex QR codes as well. Let me show you a very simple example here. You will see this is the example which is hosted on stackblitz.com. So there is a camera option here. If you click this camera option, this will display all the cameras which are installed on your computer. So now you can see that it has selected my web camera which is uh, installed on my laptop. So simply I can scan this QR code here and if I scan this, you will see that. Let me scan this again this QR code. Just wait. So now you can see that guys, it has highlighted this QR code and you can see the result here which is shown inside the yellow window automatically. So also it is highlighting it. You can see that by the red uh, green border. So it's a very cool little effect that you can have. It will highlight the QR code where you can uh, uh, simply display the result whichever result is present inside the QR code. It can be complex, it can also be colorful QR code as well. So with the help of this library, you can do this effect. I will be building this effect step by step in this video. So if you just open this link here, it will just be a WhatsApp link here. So the last library was a little bit complex library, but this library will be a very simple library. So this is the library that we are using here, which is ngx scanner QR code. It's a relatively new library, only 174 weekly downloads are there. So I think it's a very simple library as compared to the last one. So step by step instructions are given. You can also refer my blog post as well. I have written step by step instruction here inside my blog post. So the blog post address is given here inside the video description. If you want to just go to the description of the video let me update the address so copy the address and paste it so this is the address which is given so you can follow along with the video so let's get started guys so first of all what you need to do is that inside my angular project you need to install this library so we will say ngx qr code scanner so just in, install this by using this command here which is npm i ngx qr code scanner you need to put uh, dash dash force for this to its uh, comp to make it compatible with the uh, it is saying that ngx qr code scanner not found let me see oh sorry this is ngx scanner qr code ngx scanner qr code so the name was little bit confused so now again you need to put dash dash force to it anytime you get an error so now this will install this so you will see inside your project so the very first thing guys you need to do you need to go to app.module.ts file and right here you need to include the module which comes in this library which is uh, qr code ngx qr code module ngx scanner qr code module which will be imported from ngx scanner qr code now just include this ngx scanner qr code module and you are done simply uh, close this file and now you need to move to app.component.html so the bulk of the work will be done inside this file so right here guys what we need to do inside this simply we need to have a div so inside this div we will have a simple heading which is ngx scanner qr code and here we will be displaying ngx scanner qr code tag directive so inside this directive guys what we need to do is that we need to put the action at the rate oh sorry hash symbol action is equal to scanner 
and whatever data we need to scan this will be data property which will be output is equal to event and uh, if any sort of error take place then this on error callback will fire and it will get this event object automatically passed to it that's it this is all that you need to pass as arguments inside this uh, this one and now to display the data we will use the paragraph tag so we will attach the output here like this another paragraph we will have this will for loading so this will be ng if this is not mandatory but uh, it is just for loading purposes so it is not mandatory now the main thing so there will be a simple butter button present when you toggle that button your camera will be shown to the user or uh, shown so when you click the button this will be action dot toggle camera so these functions we will write action dot toggle camera and uh, we will attach the class to it or button so this you can paste it here it's a very just html code here that's it just paste it you can see that by default it will be disabled if the video is not started so just also paste this like this so right here inside this guys simply delete all this inside this you will simply need uh, if you see we only need this function which is uh, which will fire if any sort of error take place and also we will need to uh, uh, declare a variable for uh, the output string which will be displayed so i think you need to put a this one and like this so that's it now we can start this application locally so we can simply say ng serve this will start this application on local host 4200 so just wait it is starting this application So now it has started this so we can open this application localhost 4200 so now you loading it you can see that guys so let me delete this ngx scanner qr code i think we have missed something uh, let me see if we have missed something here this is the demo it is showing us so let me paste this all this sometimes if you write it manually there will be chances of error so now you can see this is a button here guys if you click this button you it will ask for the permission can it use your camera allow it so we have successfully allowed this camera so now it is displaying this you can see that so basically now if i show the qr code
so now you can see it is highlighting it and now it has shown the result also you can see that guys I think you can see this right here at the bottom this is a link it has this is actual whatsapp link so in this way guys you can build out a simple QR code scanner inside your angular 13 application using ngx scanner QR code library it's very easy and uh, I think it will be very easy to implement so thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well